Okay. Um, I'm Matthias Bauer, the project leader of the Open Office.org Writer, and uh, I'm going to tell you something about how to contribute to the project, how we are developing the software, and um, how much fun it can be. OpenOffice.org is uh, made of several projects. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, each of them contributes a separate part of, to the program. In fact, we have one large project with uh, several modules. And um, I don't know the exact, n exact number. It, it's several million lines of code. But uh, don't be scared. You don't need to know each line of code and to understand each line of code to contribute to the project. I doubt that anybody in the project is able to know or to understand so much lines of code. Um, the project is somewhat modular. Um, there are some very large modules, admittedly, but uh, there are also some areas that are very good separated from the rest. And uh, it's, uh, it's possible to concentrate on certain areas and uh, certain aspects of the project and uh, get into the project step by step. Um, the first step to work on the project is to get the source code. Our source code uh, can be uh, retrieved from a subversion uh, uh, source code management system. Um, the, if you want to contribute code and commit code back to the system, you need some authentication. But uh, if you just want to get the code, play around with it, you can get it right away without any uh, additional measures to be taken. And um, yeah, once you have get, got the source code, the next step is to learn how to build the source code. Um, some things in our project work a little bit differently, different uh, as you might know from other projects. Um, so, and it depends uh, whether you want to develop on Windows or in Linux or on the Mac. But uh, we have set up several websites where we have documented the process, uh, how the development and build process works. And uh, if you have problems, you can ask uh, all developers that know something about it, either on the mailing lists or on the, in the uh, um, IRC chat, where people hang around that know how to fix the problems you might discover. You might ask yourself, uh, how can development work in such a big project? So, so much lines of code, roughly 100, uh, 100 modules of code. And what will happen if everybody just does what he wants and uh, checks it in? Should, shouldn't that be chaos at the end? Of course, it would be chaos. So um, working on the code uh, needs some um, organization. Um, that's the reason why we have the projects and we have the project leads and we have the project teams and their mailing lists. So it's always a good idea if somebody uh, has an interest in something and wants to contribute some code to, the pro to one of the projects, it's good to, do, to get in touch with the developers or the project lead and to talk about it beforehand. Yeah, so how do, can you get uh, into the project? I think the easiest way is just to subscribe to a mailing list of one of the open office log projects or the, to the development list of the whole project or go to the IRC chat and just ask and say, hey, I can do this and that. I want to contribute. How can I do it? And what can I do? The uh, interesting question also is uh, what kind of developers uh, can work on open office.org source code? Um, most of the source code is written in C++. Um, some modules are written in C, some in Java. So working on the source code, um, as I said, if you are a Java or a C++ developer, you will always find something to work on. And um, if you are more somebody working in the Python or with BASIC, um, we have uh, the so-called open office.org add-ons. This is a way to extend the functionality of open office.org um, where you don't work on the core product but on some extra components that can, can be deployed independently. Um, so if you're a good Python developer or you like to write code in basic and you think you want to co contribute something to open office.org, add-ons are the way to go.
Um, many developers um, working on the project are full-time developers, but uh, that doesn't mean that full-time development is necessary to contribute to the project. Um, if you only want to work uh, some, some days or a few hours a week, no problem. Um, so if you are just a uh, spare time developer or a student looking for an interesting project or a diploma thesis, um, there are many opportunities to work with us and uh, um, all developers and especially of course the project leads are very eager to help you contribute to the project. I for myself, I'm very proud to have a project that is local localized in so many languages and enables people around the world to use openoffice.org in their native language, even some uh, languages spoken only by a few hundred thousand or a million people are supported and this is really a great thing and being part of that effort really is not only fun, it, I, I think it can make you proud. Yeah, so if you think uh, working on openoffice.org is something that could, could be fun or could be rewarding or could make you proud. So get in touch with us or get in touch with me, Matthias Bauer, the project lead of the Writer Project. Uh, you can reach the team um, via email at our development mailing list. It's dev, D -E -V, at sw.openoffice.org. And um, as I said, you can make you can tell us our, your ideas, what you want to work on, or you can ask us if there is something where we could get, uh, get some helping hands, and then we will see. So uh, I hope to welcome you as contributors to our project. Thanks.